Well, I really appreciate the chance to talk about this because there is important information about mild cognitive impairment in our facts and figures report this year. So what mild cognitive impairment is, or MCI, this involves changes in memory or thinking that go beyond normal aging. And about one in seven Americans age 60 and older have MCI. And it's important to know about because in some cases, MCI can progress to dementia. Now, not everyone who has MCI will get dementia, but studies suggest about 10 to 15% of people who have MCI do develop dementia each year. So, Vicki, we're urging anyone who has concerns about their memory or their thinking to talk with their doctor. Well, Morgan, what is the connection between MCI and Alzheimer's, and why is it important to address MCI early with your doctor? Yes, you know, part of this is what is causing MCI. There are many potential causes, and it's important to determine what is causing it if you have it. And some of those causes are even treatable ones, such as depression or uh, side effects from some medications, even sleep apnea. Also, there's one particular type of MCI called MCI due to Alzheimer's. And this is really, it's characterized by the changes in the brain that are associated with Alzheimer's disease. So getting an early and an accurate diagnosis is important uh, so that families have time to make some decisions about health care and, uh, and financial decisions. That's why that early diagnosis is so important. Well, what were the most surprising results of the annual Facts and Figures report? The report shows that most Americans would really want to know if they have Alzheimer's disease at an early stage, even at the MCI stage, and primary care doctors agree that diagnosing MCI is important, but only about half of primary care doctors refer the patient to a specialist when MCI is detected. So it's really important that we make sure that primary care doctors have the tools that they need to diagnose MCI and also to refer patients to a specialist for additional tests and for clinical trials. Well, Morgan, you also found that diagnosing and treating MCI can be challenging for physicians. Why is that? Yes, we, we heard from primary care physicians in particular a number of barriers, and those include a lack of specialists to refer their patients to, and even uh, some hesitation that some of them have as a physician to diagnose a disease that has limited treatment options. But it's important to know that that's beginning to change. In fact, the first medication that targets the early stages of Alzheimer's disease has been approved, and there are over a hundred others that are in development. And so that early and accurate diagnosis is key. It helps identify who may be eligible for these treatments and for clinical trials. Well, where can viewers go for more information? To learn more, go to alz.org backslash facts or call the Alzheimer's Association at our 24-7 helpline. It's available 365 days a year.